straits in Glencoe. Well, hello. How are you? Well, I'm fine. How are you? And I might add, who are you? Who am I? Am I supposed to know? Come to think of it, no, you're not supposed to know. Are you stranded? My father was supposed to pick me up, but something must have happened. Whoever your father is and whatever happened, I'll be eternally grateful. That is, if I can give you a lift. You certainly can. You can drive me home. Good. I'll get your bags. Where do you live? Dezorus Lane. Dezorus Lane? Say, that's where I live. Really? Sure. We must be neighbors. And if there's one thing I believe in, it's love thy neighbor. Oh, so do I. <laughs> Come on, David. David? Is his name David? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's funny. My name's David, too. That is funny, isn't it? Are you uh, sure you don't want to tell me your name? Positive. I'm having much too much fun. All right, if you want to play games. Have you um, always lived here in Long Island? Most of my life. I could have sworn I knew every pretty girl on the North Shore. I could have sworn you took in more territory than that. <laughs> this is maddening. I know I've seen that face before. Let me see your profile again. I know, I know you. I have a feeling I've seen you with your father. Wait a minute, is your father Admiral Starrett? Hardly. It's funny, I keep seeing him in a uniform. Oh, come on. Give us a hint. What does your father do? He's in transportation. Transportation. Railroads, New York Central. No. Planes, TWA. No. Boats, United States Lines. <laughs> no. I pass. Automobiles. Oh? Chrysler. Yes, Chrysler and Ford and General Motors and Rolls Royce. Is your father on the board of directors of all those companies? Well, you might say he runs things. I bet my brother Linus knows him. He certainly does. As a matter of fact, they quite often drive into town together. They do? Straight through to the garage, please. <laughs> I feel so stupid I could kill myself. <laughs> You'll be all right in a minute. Here we are. Now, look, I'm not just pulling that old line of haven't we met somewhere before. We have met some. You don't live here. Yes, I do. I live here. Hi, neighbor. You're such a lady. You've come home such a beautiful lady. Oh, and <laughs> oh welcome home, Sabrina. And it's Jenny Hubs. Are you? Don't cry, Margaret. There's nothing to cry about. I bought you a hat, Margaret. Oh. A real Paris hat for you to wear to church on Sundays. And Jenny, I've got something for you. I'm sorry I missed you, Sabrina, but I had to take Mrs. Larrabee to the hairdresser. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't have recognized you anyway. Well, David had a little trouble, didn't you, David? <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. I'll put some coffee on. Will you come to the kitchen, Sabrina? As soon as I've opened my bags, Margaret. Well, let's get them out of the car, and I'll take them upstairs. Uh, look, as uh, old neighbors, I, uh, I think the two of us should have a reunion. It's only fair. How about tonight? Do you really want to see me? Very much. Sure? Yes, I'm sure. All right. Good. We'll go out on the town. We'll drive to New York, have a quick drink at the store, and then uh, go somewhere for dinner. I know a wonderful little French restaurant over in First Avenue. Uh, I guess you wouldn't think so much of it after Paris. I love it. <laughs> 